My central thesis this morning is that clericalism is not simply a crisis of power, but of spiritual paternity. It is a crisis that has no other cause than that absurd, privative turn away from the face of the Father. My aim this morning is to look at three developments in modern theology that coincide with the years of abuse. I do not mean to suggest that modern theological developments or even deformations are causal of sexual abuse. In fact, I do not think clericalism is itself a causal explanation. At best, the law of iniquity is a quasi-law that follows no direct lines and admits to no easy explanations. Yet clericalism is a decent correlative explanation that deserves to have its depth uh, sounded. Rather, I want to look this morning at how shifts in how theologians have thought about God in the 20th century, how they've thought about morality, and how they've thought about liturgy have either helped or hindered a turn away from the Father that is so evident in culture and also in instances of clerical abuse. Each turn tells us something important about how our crisis is rooted in the formation of the imago dei, how the Im image is formed or deformed in us, especially in how we see God, how we imagine him, how we imitate and worship him, and how our vision of the Father may form or deform us, depending on what we see. Since, as Aquinas teaches, human fathers are only fathers by analogy to God the Father, it follows that the corruption of the fathers is itself rooted not so much in power, but at its depth is rooted in the primal turn away from the primary analogate God. <clears throat> 